Il est né le divin enfant, the child is born. Alléluia. Merry Christmas. Please be seated. Before we get too far into this tonight, I want to I want you to uh, some of you may already know this little song, but I want you to sing with me. What I will do is I will sing a phrase, and then you echo the last three syllables of the first phrase, and then I'll sing another phrase, and you sing hallelujah, hallelujah. So far, so good, right? Yeah. So it goes, a child is born in Bethlehem, and you sing given such a short time to live, still living and seeming to do quite well, and his family was able to spend Christmas with him. So this is an evidence of the presence of God, brother-in-law, who is, has a very short time on this side of the embrace of God, and he is with his family and he's living it well. Any other examples? There's a story on the news tonight. A young boy, nine years old, I think his age, and he's collecting cans for, for Kean, his friend, who has an illness which is going to shorten her life. But he's collecting soda cans, and he was expecting to raise, oh, 100 or 200 or 300 dollars, and they're well over thousands now. They're into the two and a half or three thousand dollars of cans. That's 10 cents a can. Here's an example. Mm -hmm. But because the reason I ask this question is because when you look at the, if you look at the scripture in Isaiah, they, they are asking the same question. Isaiah, Isaiah, first Isaiah, the writer of the, of the first part of Isaiah, way back five or six hundred years before the birth of Jesus Christ, they're asking, where is the hand of God active in this world? Where is that? They were also asking, how do, we, how do we live our lives out? How do we live our lives out in a way which God would have us live it? Oh, I know, we've got all these laws. We have 613 laws. And if we keep these laws, we will be righteous and we will be demonstrating our relationship with God. And, and that will do the trick. But those 613 laws are hard to do. They're hard to keep. I don't know how many of you folks know of uh, uh, Orthodox Jews who nowadays will keep t two sets of dishes for the kosher cooking and for the non-kosher cooking. I mean, that's just an example of what we're talking about. 
But then you get into that stuff about not wearing two different kinds of cloth. That really gets hard. And all of that. It's very difficult. How do we do this? How and, and is it enough? How do we live it out? How do we see the presence of God in this world? Where does it come from? A virgin woman, poor as we, poor as we, conceived the baby secretly. Alleluia, alleluia. In the crib she laid him down. Joseph. 
do we? But we have to believe that Joseph was a good dad. We have to believe that Joseph taught that little boy. We have to believe that. And I wonder where he went. The angels teach us harmonies. Someone you can teach. Hallelujah. <laughs> 